Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Windows Autopilot. We have seen a lot of information about Windows Autopilot, but this is the special presentation from Kannan, which is all about how to convince a client to move to Windows Autopilot. What are the cost benefits of it? What is the process flow you need to follow? And what are the advantages of that process flow? He's breaking down all these things into a presentation which he did for HDMD community user group event in March. So don't skip it. Let's go and check it out. Today I'm going to present, right? Uh, so whenever we are going to talk to the customers about uh, to an, uh, offering solutions, right? It's not about technical offering solutions, how it's getting benefited to the company, right? How we are going to the current method, how are you going to the cloud method, right? That's what I'm going to present it. It's a generally we do, uh, especially I do with the customers when we going for the offering the solutions to the customers. Okay, it's kind of a pre-sales. Okay, don't think that it's an uh, it's kind of a pre-sales settling that hey, this is the new product we having in Intune. Okay, why can't we use this product to enabling the enhanced services to the uh, customers, right? So first one, this is a Windows Autopilot. It's nothing new from you guys. Okay, this is everything from the Microsoft, and I developed a little bit more, right? So what is Windows Autopilot? Right, it's cloud-based solutions. Right, current tech and it enables deployment and conferring of this over internet. That is a, one of the great features, right? And it requires the Azure infrastructure, right? Which means that, okay, uh, the compared to the current versions to the cloud, right? Cloud, you know, you can access everywhere, right? You can um, access both on corporate network, both on the public network, the base two, wherein currently are using SSCM means a uh, SSCM or any other tool you can work on, you can able to access only on the corporate network. You can't access the cloud bank on the bu uh, public network, right? Then it's easy tool to deploy and configure over internet, right? Using SSCM, you're able to uh, configure the image only on a corporate network, where in autopilot, the users can configure the device over internet. Right, and it's secure Azure Active Directory, right, to manage the device to uh, either in hybrid mode or in Azure mode, right. We need an Azure environment, right. So it simplifies the uh, deployment. Where currently uh, we are using the tool SSCM or MDT, right. Where we are using Autopilot, it simplifies our work, right. The next is. I would say that autopilot objective. Why we are going to autopilot? Right? It's user experience management. Right? It's increase the user productivity. Number one, it's give the a customized out of box experience. Okay, it always having the latest technology. Right? Always up to date. Wherein um in 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 uh, SSCM you have to update the tool on every release. Right? Wherein in, in Intune. Uh, you don't want to do that because whenever the service line being updated on Azure port, Azure side, it's getting updated on the Intune side as well, right? Implement and trigger automated remediation. A lot of futures are being there, right? Coming to um, support, right? Centralized cloud-based management and easy to deploy images, security updates, OS upgrades, future updates, everything. And we can deploy applications and easily manage the policy and no maintenance of images and drivers. I'm coming to that part, okay? <laughs> Why you know maintenance of images and drivers, which means that, okay, um, you may, for example, you your OE vendor may be a, a HP, Lenovo, or a Dell. You have the support contract with them, right? Whenever they are releasing uh, the devices, you can tell them that I want Windows 10 to 1H2 or 2 to H2 or like that, right? You can stick with the OS. And no driver setup, right? Easily repurpose the device, and uh, it's having a minimum touch configuration, whether it's in a Azure AD joint or hybrid AD joint. Okay, and you can configure the device, or user can configure the device either in office or at home, and it's always increase the productivity, right? User productivity, and coming to the overall benefits is 
reduction in st uh, time of laptop provisioning. This is very much important overall benefits. It's currently, uh, for example, uh, I would say that. OK, if you are uh, if you if, if you are an end user device, like a user is uh, onboarding, right? Generally, it will take hardly two to three days to deliver the device because uh, once the user being on board a ticket to be raised once a ticket to be raised okay um the the engineers or or support people has to image the laptop ensure all the drivers are being up to date application being installed and then ship the laptop to the end user or they can hand over the laptop to the end user right when in this case right um they can take the laptop from the shelf and directly ship it to the safety and consistent and standardized to build across the global locations, right? And uh, faster time to market, faster device recovery during the crash. This is very much important, um, right? If the device get crashed, right? Uh, what happened in general in terms of the user in office? Now we are going to hybrid. They have to go to office. Then they have to hand over the laptop to the the support people they'll reimage it hand over to back where in this case right um they can call the uh, they can remotely wipe the machines or the user can wipe the machines and reconfigure the device and it has a less input production rollout okay if any questions uh, please uh, let me know after this presentation i'm happy to answer for that both technical ways and end user experience And this is the current way and the new way. Current way is what we are doing. It is right. Uh, it depends on the environment to environment, right? Uh, generally, we deploy the OS and uh, we deploy the image to new computers over at Google. Then it takes time, right? Making the expensive proportions. The new way is take the laptop, unbox it. The user can enter the username and password. The device ready for the protection. OK, this is the simplest and speedy way of the deployment. Right. Uh, let me know if I'm going fast. Please do let me know. I can stop it. OK. And the device lifecycle management of the sort of palette, right? In most of the organizations, right? Um, it depends on it some. Uh, um, it's going for minimum. It's a three years warranty period, and some of the devices goes with extended warranty period, different than the support of it, right? So every company, no more maintenance of the images and devices. No need of touch to the devices, and simplify process of users and IT integration in device supplies management. Reset device back to business steady state. Okay, coming to this point is okay. If it in Azure, okay, then Azure AD joined. Our work is very, very simple, right? Wherein it's going for the hybrid. OK, we need to for the setup and implementation. We need to define a lot of process on the ground. OK, and uh, if it's hybrid also, right? Uh, um, there are two hybrid setup, right? One is a uh, uh, pure autopilot and one is the pre-professioning, right? Pre-professioning is always done. Some 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 of the companies having a lot of a security tools in place where we are not able to perform the Windows Autopilot uh, during the security tools, pure autopilot, right? In this case, some of the customers going for the pre-provisioning, right? In this case, right, okay, you can talk to the vendor and say that, hey, uh, how you want to do the pre-provisioning, the entire design and process to be made, okay? So for example, uh, I am the means uh, I am the vendor. OK, I want to uh, design for the solution for the autopilot. I go with the uh, pre-provisioning, right? I can tell that, OK, you can install the image. You can pre-provision the device and ship it back to me instead of I am pre-provisioning it. So right? in that case, right, um, I can save a lot of time. Um, OK, and you can you can stick to the OS, OK, and you can if you want, I can I can uh, ship all my softwares to the OEM vendor. So the base layer will be OAS on top layer will be the application and then ship and then image and ship it back. Right. There are a lot of things to be dis uh, uh, designed during the autopilot to save the time and cost and increase the end user experiences. OK. Coming to that uh, um, current process and device support lifecycle. OK, the current one is um, 
the current process both on site and most of the companies we are going to hybrid mode right so both on site and remote how the current process being supported as i am the end user okay as an is uh, an on site okay i my laptop having some issues okay so I'm going to visit the site technicians or the DSS engineer, the staff support engineer, IT engineer at office. Okay, if my laptop uh, uh, need uh, a hardware replacement, okay, what I will do is um, I will take a day to replace the hardware because I need to order the uh, hardware and then I get a hardware back. I will replace it. Meantime, I need to hand over the loaner laptop to the end user, right? Once that the uh, hardware being replaced, I will reimage it and ship it given to the user and get back the loaner laptop. Right? It's same similar like remote, right? Remote uh, uh remote again the break fixed. I will call the support uh, team. Hey, my laptop having some issues. Then the support team will contact the what is called that uh, DSS engineers. Okay, and then uh and then they will uh, um, they will uh, ship the laptop. Uh, DSN engine will arrange the loaner and ship the laptop back to the uh, what is called that um, IT locations. Okay, and they ship the loaner laptop. When the issue got fixed, they will ship the original laptop. Right? It's always a time-consuming process. Okay, so this is the target by implementing the autopilot. Right? Uh, once at on-site, okay, generally what we will do, we order the laptop to the oem vendor oem vendor there are two ways oem vendor will directly ship the laptop to the end users uh, some companies will approaching the solutions okay some companies okay let it be shipped to the office then we will ship it to the oem vendor so ship it to the end users right so once they ship it to the end users or end users will configure the laptop by themselves it's hardly it will take depends on the configuration maximum it one hour for the complete setup right once if there are any issues okay definitely if the on site they will call they will go to the uh, site tech with technicians okay this is my issues okay the site technicians will uh, tell that okay don't worry i will reset the if it's any voyage issues okay they will initiate the wipe then wipe a completed user can reconfigure the laptop immediately they start using the laptop within two hours maximum right resetting will take about if it depends on the hardware, it'll take about uh, uh, 30 minutes to one hour. Okay, once it's done again, configuration will take another one hour max to max. Okay, they can start using the laptop, right? If it's if it's any hardware issues, okay, they will immediately they will give a loaner laptop. It's already predefined. Okay, then user can log in, configure that means it user can provision the laptop, start using it within one hour, and they can um, if it's a hardware issue, they replace it. Uh, three days, okay, or one day, they can ship it back. The user can start using it. The remote also the same, right? Um, uh, they call the support team, okay, and the support team says, okay, hey, I want to, my OS getting keep on crashing. Why can't you reinstall the OS? Okay, they can remotely wipe it. Okay, then user can log in with the username, password, and reconfigure it, the laptop and start using it. If it's any issues, right, they can send the loaner laptop on the same day, okay um the next day got delivered and uh, they configured start using it right it's increased the overall experience is okay uh, increasing the end user experience end user productivity right number one number two is um it overall the turnaround time for the uh, uh, fix of the specific issues whether it's OS class or hardware issues right it's been remediated within very short sperm right so it's having a uh, it's having the uh, cost on the overall uh, uh, end user productivity right for example if the user is not working for a day or two due to then um, hardware or means due to an voice issue right okay if you take in a monthly an average about 15 tickets being raised i will giving a very very minimal count right it's about 100 hours of productivity being impacted Right by implementing the autopilot, you can save a lot of hours. Right, and coming to the next one is very much important. Okay, um, what is the outcome of the autopilot? Right, it's a digital. We have categorized into four categorization. One is a digital experience measurement, user experience, on-site remote support, user engagement, and feedback. Right, the one is okay. Um, 
we don't want to install the uh, uh, OS on the laptop. It's already pre-configured pre by the vendor. Okay, we can use the same um, um, same uh, OS. Okay, and we can deploy it, right? And it's having very less uh, uh, um, management of the OS. In right, almost most automated most of the post deployment task via Intune, right? And if you want to upgrade the OS currently in 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 a in a, we are in, in SSCM, we are using a future update. The similar way we can use Windows Update for a business and we can deploy the future updates, right? And it's having great security and compliance, right? Application patch or fixed deployment or internet also possible. Right, coming to the end user experience, increased user productivity and user can configure the laptop anytime, anywhere using a device deployment and less interaction with service desk and the right support team. It's having multiple light self options, which call the user itself can reset the sorry wipe the device, or they can call the support team. Support can remotely do the wipe. Okay, it's having a custom out of experience, always up to date. And on-site and remote support, right? Um, the one is okay. Um, I uh, hope everyone knows about that first call resolutions, right? For OS computer related issues, increased overall MTTR minutes taken time to resolve it for laptop and desktop tickets. Right, and coming to the user engagement feedback, okay. Okay, so create a contextual campaign and share that target and the users collective feedback on the product basis. That's what we do always, right? Um, so we keep on uh, keep on working with the users, getting the feedback, enhancing the product, right? And dash whatever that feedback received, right? So overall, uh, by implementing the autopilot, right? How many tickets being reduced and how many man hours being reduced and what is the benefit to the organizations? Okay, how much cost being saved in terms of soft dollars on hard dollars, right? It always help you to uh, 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 to go with enhancing and advanced tools in the organizations. Right um, now, it's time for you guys. If you have any questions, please ask me. Now that you have seen all the process flows and all the diagrams, all the slides that Kannan shared to have an end-to-end -end autopilot migration process for your organization. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.